Hey guys, and welcome to my vlog. My name is Erin, and I am a writer. I'm working on several fantasy pieces right now, so I started this world-building vlog series to go over some of the things that I've had to think about while building my fantasy world. Today's topic is magical animals and shapeshifters. Magic animals are another one of my favorite things that pop up in fantasy. There are tons of directions you can go with this, whether it's giving magical elements to real-world animals, employing magical creatures, or having animals or people that can change shape. So starting with shapeshifters, probably the most common one that everyone's heard of is the werewolf. You have a lot of flexibility because shapeshifters are littered through folklore. If you are going to be using ones from cultures that are not your own, please do your research, don't use anything sacred, and just come at it with a respectful point of view. And you can ask people from those cultures if using it for your intended purpose is going to be offensive. Now, if you're going to be including shapeshifters in your story, there are a few things that you need to consider. Number one, is the change reversible? Or are they stuck in that form? Number two, are the changes by choice or is it forced? An example of this would be werewolves forcibly changing under the full moon versus something like a selkie who can remove their seal skin to grant a human form basically whenever they want. Number three, is the transformation painful? If it hurts, they're probably going to be a little more reluctant to do it. And if it's a forced transformation, then chances of them developing some fear and anxiety around the time of the change is pretty high. Number four, how much energy does the transformation take? If it expends a lot of energy, then you may have to do some prep before your characters can transform. Make sure that they are well fed, well hydrated, in peak physical condition, and they may need to have an available food source or medical attention available post transformation. Number five. Is there a way to mitigate the effects of the change? Consider if you're going to be able to use any sort of magical means to supplement the energy needed, avoid transformation, or reduce the general discomfort associated with it. And number six, are there time limits with these changes? Do your characters need to revert back to their natural form before a certain time elapses? And what's going to happen to them if they don't? need to figure out how does your society react to shapeshifters in general. Is their shapeshifting ability something that they can be open about, or is it something they need to hide for their own safety? And is there a different societal reaction based on humans who can transform into other forms, or other animals or species that can take on human forms? If you're going to be including magical animals, then consider how common they're going to be in your world. Are there so many of them that people can have magical animals as pets? Or are they super rare and only a handful of people have ever even seen them? You want to know how these magical animals interact with your society. Which ones of them are considered dangerous? Which ones are helpful? Which ones are sacred? Who has access to them? And can magical creatures wield magic? And if so, how is it different from magic that people use? If it is. If you're applying magical elements to any animal, how does this affect their intelligence and ability to communicate with people? If you're going to be including things like dragons and unicorns, you're probably pretty safe. You don't have to stick to what already exists. You can make up your own creatures if you feel so inclined. And another fun thing you can do is sort of flip how they're viewed by our societies. Now, if you want to have unicorns be a menace to society, do that. If you want to have the big scary dragons be pocket-sized and super friendly, you can do that too. You can defy expectations, break down traditional symbolism, and just have fun with this because it's fantasy and you can do basically whatever you want. That's all I've got for you guys on magical animals and shape-shifting. I hope that's helpful to get you started. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please send me a note. I will put my social media links in the description. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!